guys, what is going on? It is Obadiah, and today we are back on the center playing some Ark. Is the sun going down right now? Is it getting dark? Oh, it's got a K mode and check it out. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, let's just go in Gamma 3 just preemptively because it always gets so dang dark around here. So, today, ooh, what I want to do today. So, we have been taming up a bunch of stuff. Just random stuff. Stuff we're never gonna use, right? Just Enkis and Raptor, all this stuff that honestly is useless. Parasaurs and like a thousand scorpions. And uh, the reason we've been doing that is for kibble. Cause without kibble, we can get better stuff and it won't take like 97 hours to uh, to tame things. And look, we got this egg collector, which is getting all sorts of eggs for us. And then, you know, every day or so, I'm taking it over and turn it into kibble. Um, but it is kind of a bummer to tame all the stuff we're never going to use. So, today I want to tame something we're actually going to use. And we need for kibble, which is pteranodons. So, we have this pteranodon. I don't remember what level he was. 200 and some odd. But, uh, oh, you know what I should make now I'm thinking about it? Let's bolas. Let's make some bolas, just in case. Um, but we don't... Uh, have the best possible pteranodon. And you know that's what we need, is the best possible pteranodon. What, how do you make bolas? What do you need? Thatch, stone, uh, hide, fiber. So let's go, thatch, stone, hide, fiber. How many bolas can we make? 17? That's the perfect number. Um, so, what I want us to do is go ahead and find some really awesome level, a couple really good level pteranodons. We'll see what we can find. Anything that's like 324 or 336 or higher, I think is what we're looking for. Um, and once we get two of those, then I want us to go and get uh, just, you know, a bunch of other ones simply for kibble, you know, depending on what we need. Or we may just breed them and get kibble that way. Ooh, maybe that's a better idea. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but I do know I need to go find a good level pteranodon first to get. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff going, hop on the quets, fly out and find a good level one and bring y'all back. All right, guys, we have found our very first victim, level 336, and I just realized, where to go? And I just realized something. With this spyglass, it looks like pink means female, which is something I had not noticed before. I thought it just didn't tell gender. So, how dangerous is the area right here? Eh, not too bad. We should probably won't need the bola, but we're gonna try it anyways. So we found a bunch of uh, level 300s, and before this, the highest we found, oh, well, that was easy, was a level 312. Uh, let's go ahead and put up some spikes. And then we'll get this sucker tamed up. It shouldn't take too long. It looks like it's only going to take, uh, I think it was six kibble when I looked it up. Um, I always end up using way more spikes than I need to. And honestly, most of the time I probably shouldn't need any. Get out of here, dude. I don't want you. I don't need a hover bird. I might have to get one just so I can name it hover hoverboard, hoverboard the hoverbird. All right. So we get in here, and then I'll just watch this entrance. Let's go ahead and throw the kibble on it. That's five. I'll do seven just to be safe. Let's go ahead and let this sucker tame up, and it is a female. So I do think, yeah, when you're using this omnocular spyglass, if it's come the words come up pink, it's a female, and blue is a male. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna let it tame up, and then I'll bring y'all back. All right, guys, so in the same general area, I found another, I believe, 336, um, which I wish we found something higher. Ugh, God, this is kind of... Okay, I want to keep an eye on it. So let's go ahead and wait till this sucker to land. The problem is I really don't want these terror birds and stuff to be causing me problems. Okay, guess we're going to have to kill it. Get out of here. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this terror bird real quick. Don't want to lose my bird. What level is this terror bird? Oh, it's a high level, so it's going to take a minute. All right, come on. Die. And is anything else dangerous in the area? Don't, oh, don't attack the Dimorphodon. Come on, come on. Now there's two of them. Where's my bird? Where's my bird? Okay, one down. Let me clear the area, and then I'll bring you guys. Oh, wait, no. The other one's down. I mean, we don't have to bring you guys back. Maybe I can just have you guys stay here. Okay, where's my bird? Is that it? Ah, oh, I can't see. Are you my bird? Check. No. Oh no. Where'd, where'd my bird go? It's not this one. Okay, there's two over here. 
Oh, there's like nine. Okay, we got a 84, 72, 336. Perfect, and it's landing. Okay, let's get the bolos going. Wait, how did we miss? Go to sleep and put spike walls up quick. Ow! Ah! Stupid bugs! All right, just this one last bite of kibble and our first level 336 female Pteranodon will be up. And then we gotta go ahead and check on the other one. Any second now, I think. I think. Oh, we're getting a little bit of lag. Oh, there it is! Awesome. So we got ourselves our first one tamed out at level 503. Let's go and put this sucker on passive. I'm gonna go ahead and take down these spike walls so we don't leave a giant mess all over the server. And then uh, I'm gonna fly over to the other one and see how it's doing. Should, should be uh, almost up as well. Look what I found, you don't even believe it. It is another female level 336. This must be some kind of weird like breeding. No, no running away for you. Some kind of weird like spawn point for them. I don't know, but I mean, we'll take them. Ooh, that a, oh, that's an all black galley. Um, yeah, really strange, but you know, can't complain though. I do wish they were a little higher. If we're gonna have some kind of crazy thing like this, I wish they were at least a little higher, you know? Uh, if we do any more than this, we might need to go, maybe make some more spikes. Okay, let me <laughs> get out of there so I don't get trapped. And then, did I already throw the kibble on? I believe so. Yep. Because these are all like right around the same area. It's actually pretty crazy. Um, that should be all the females we need. We really need a high level male though. But I haven't seen any only level 336 females. Uh, we might just have to get a low level male just for the sake of having something. No, because we want to breed them. And so it's really not worth it. So we're going to keep looking around while these guys tame up. Um, let's go check out this guy down here and see. He should be either done or almost done. Okay, there's my Quetzal where I left it. Oh, where are you? 72, that's no good. And... Ooh, one more bite. How far away are we? 40, 50, 60, another 20 food. All right, here we go. Oh, I'm being attacked by bugs. Being attacked by bugs. Ooh, hope they didn't hit my my uh, my bird. Oh, look, it popped up. Ooh. Oh, you better not have freaking attacked. Got hit my bird at right the last second. Ah, oh, you're the worst. Oh, there you are. What'd you come out as? 489. After all that, 489, and not 503. What a humongous waste. Ah, uh, right at the very last second. I was in the process of tearing down the spike walls, but I, I think they might have hit it anyways. Uh, okay. Well, at least we have another 336 tame and another backup, so we can't complain. Three level 336 females is pretty good. Uh, we just gotta see if we can find a male that is high enough as well. We found it! We found a level 360 Tranodon, and it looks like it's male, if I'm right. Um, can we get it from here? Oh, that'd be perfect. Land. Gotcha, sucker. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> now we have the almost uh, 360 female would be great, too, but uh, it uses almost the rest of our kibble. Um, so three females and a male plus whatever we have. What level is that uh, ape over there? 36. Okay, no one cares. Uh, let's kill it, I guess. I don't want walking over here causing problems. Okay, anything else in the- Ooh, a bear! Those hit hard. Hey, bud. What level are you? Not- It doesn't want to tell me? <gasps> Ooh, a 336 bear. We could actually use that. I'm thinking maybe we tame that. Alright, why can I not run right now? I mean, like... There we go. Um, screw it. Let's just tame it. No. Oh, they hit so hard. Run away. This was a terrible idea. Okay, we're on. 
Okay, it's running. Oh, that was a terrible idea. <laughs> Alright, maybe it'll run back. Oh, I should have done it from a better vantage point. Now I really have to watch it because... I think it's going to come back and try to kill me. Um, let's get spikes up around the Pteranodon. I ran out of metal spikes, but I used the materials I had and got a little wood and made wood spikes. Which should be just fine. Okay, watch for that bear. Ooh. Whoa! Oh, with the legs. Because if that bear kills me, that'd be bad news. Bad news bears, one might say. Okay, let's go ahead and make this one oh, a little bit of a gap there. I'm kind of doing this in a rush. Because I'm worried that bear is going to come back and just murder me at any second. Um, okay, let's do this side. Like this. Like this. Like this. And, uh, this rock is in the way. We can't break rock with, with these, can we? Uh, no. Uh, da, 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 da. This. I have, I mean, I got picks and stuff on me, but... Okay, where's my pick? Where's my pick? Hatchet. That'll do. Get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna get this set up, check on the other one, look around, see if that bear shows up. All right, guys, this guy's about to take his last bite, and then we'll have ourselves a new 503, I believe, hopefully, Pteranodon, in uh, one food, and then we'll take this down and go get that last male up top, and then head back to the base. There it is, and it came out as 503, right? Didn't get jacked up for some reason like the last one, and uh, let's see, let's take this stuff down, and this is a great area. In case you're wondering where I am, I am at, like, 8760. There are a ton of Pteranodons around here, and all the high-level ones I found today, all three 336s and the uh, 360 were all really close to this area. So, let's go ahead and hop... Oh, what? Why can't I get it back up there? Dang it, I flew up there. Okay, come on over here. Come on. Come on, Quetzal. You can do it. There we go. No? I mean, it was a good try, but... Gotcha. Okay. So now let's go straight up the top of this cliff. And we're going to go ahead and wait for this guy. All right, guys. I do think this is the last bite for our level 360. And he should come out at level 539, I think, is the max level things can be. There it is. And it is 539. Okay, let's put all these guys on passive. Let's tear down these walls. And let's go, luckily we're pretty close to the base, which is nice, so it shouldn't be too difficult to get these guys back. Because, you know, sometimes when you have a bunch of guys follow you, things happen and get in the way, and you run into problems. Um, especially when you're flying, you get, like, all tangled up and stuff. But, we shouldn't have that issue here. So, let's go ahead and fly on back to base with our four new Pteranodons. And then I'll bring you guys back. All right, guys, we have got our Tranodons back to base and labeled them according to their best stats. And it's time to do some breeding. So first, let's put all these guys on a follow distance of highest. Uh, now, the stats right now don't make that much of a difference <laughs> since we're just going to breed all of them with the same male. But it's still good to keep track of things. And then we will do follow, follow, follow follow and now we can put them all in wandering and enable wandering and enable wandering and then we can start spamming the use so tranodons are pretty quick breeds they pretty quick they hatch pretty quick they go grow up pretty quick um so we'll at least get them hatched in this video i'm thinking um, and maybe grow up. We'll see. I might leave it overnight and deal with that tomorrow But then maybe I won't post this video till tomorrow anyway, so who knows? <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and let, get some eggs out of these guys and I'll bring you guys back All right guys, so we got three fertilized pteranodon eggs that we are gonna lay down um, I actually got really worried because I saw them ha uh, get birthed or hatched dropped and then they disappeared and I was like what happened I thought they fell through the world or something but it ends up um, they didn't fall through the world they just got collected by the egg collector 
So at least that was a simple solution. Make sure these things are incubating and we'll do one over here. And I think the hatch time on these is really quick, like six minutes with our timers. So they're all incubating. So I'm gonna go ahead and let these suckers hatch and then I'll bring you all back. All right, guys, these eggs are about to hatch any second now that we just gotta catch them, chase them down. Okay, here we go. This one's about to pop. There it is. We got a level 529, which is not too bad. Okay, throw some meat on it. And let's grab you, 512. And throw some meat on you. And the last one. The last one. 530. Come on. Imprint. There we go. And throw some. I can't access this inventory. Meat. Okay, now let's go ahead and get them off out of there. So we can actually uh, look at their stats, make sure they're fed, disable wandering, the whole deal. Come on. Right there is probably fine. And now let's disable wandering, disable wandering, and disable wandering. All right, now let's get them spread out a little bit. So let's grab you. No. You. And you can come just down this way, it's fine. Come on. Mm, come on, little baby pterodactyl. Or pteranodon, I'm sorry. There may be a difference that I just don't know. Okay, so we got him. Put some meat on him. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make sure they're all fed. Check all, all out their stats and name them accordingly, and then I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, we are back and it is the next day and these guys are all grown up and you see we've named them accordingly and since they all came out as female, we will go ahead and do a whole another round of that today. We went ahead and brought this dude down here so that way we can get another set of eggs. Uh, so we're going to do the same thing, throw them all on highest. Uh, we already set them up all with saddles so we should be good to go on that account and we'll put them all on follow and enable wandering. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get a second set of eggs uh, Enable wandering and Spam you till it's all done and then I'll bring you guys back All right, these suckers have already started to hatch so we got one at level 540 which is fantastic one at 537 Which is not too bad and the last one should be popping up any second here And 539 which is great so 540 is obviously gonna be our best level one. Let's go ahead and throw some meat on them and disable wandering. And throw some meat on and disable wandering. And let's do it a third time. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull these guys to the side and check out what their stats are, name them accordingly, get them lined up, the whole deal. All right, guys, so we have named them accordingly, and as you can see, we did get a better male than we've had before. Um, our last best guy had two good stats on this one. It has both all the stamina, the oxygen, and the food, so that's definitely going to help us out. I'm going to go ahead and keep on breeding these guys, um, keep it going before today, guys. I do think that is going to be it. If you did enjoy the video or if you learned something, do me a favor and go ahead and subscribe, and of course, uh, hit that thumbs up button for me. Also, you can hit me up on all the social medias, your Twitters, your Facebooks, your Instagrams, uh, even your Google+, Plus, even though no one ever uses it. And I do have a Patreon, if you feel free to check that out at patreon.com slash ObadiahX. But for today, guys, that is going to be it. As always, I appreciate you guys coming to hang out with me, and I will see you again next time.